What is going on you guys? I hope you're all having an embraceful day today. It's a little change of scenery. This isn't my house, this is Isai's house. And we're gonna be working on his 350Z. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different than what has been done on 350Zs. I guess it's called what? Yeah, so this is the Akebano big brake or big brake kit upgrade. So just like any project, you gotta start off, you know, building little piece by piece. And, well, for me in my case, so starting off with the brake calipers, right? So these are uh, Akebano brake calipers off of a 2016 370Z Nismo. I bought these used. As you can see, they have a little bit of scrubs. They're not perfect, but you know, for I mean, the they part, pretty much look brand new. Yeah, this this 370Z actually had 16,000 miles when it wrecked. So I was able to get these on eBay. So those were first. Then I, I made sure to get some stainless steel braided brake lines here from Z1 as well. And in order to fit these brakes, the Akebano's on a 350Z, you need to get some adapter brake or adapter brackets for the, for the fronts, fronts, right? But the rears can bolt on, right? So other than that, got some rotors off of eBay for now. Eventually I'll go two piece, but for now, just to get them on, I got those rotors, you know, brake pads, and I'm gonna use the hardware that came with the, the caliper, so. These are the ones that you already yes, dis dismantled from the yes. calipers. The we got some oils, Yeah, some uh, fluid, brake, fluid. brake fluid, and brake clean. And I mean, Isai has plenty of space yep. for a brick brake, brake, big brake kit. Yes, sir. I mean, you guys haven't seen this car in a while. I mean, a lot of things have changed, especially in the engine bay, which we won't see, you, we won't show to you guys in this video, but we'll show you guys a little bit later on, probably in another video some, because this car has definitely transformed and some of you guys might be able to notice some things for right now. But today we're focusing on the big brake stuff so we can get that stopping power, because that's what he's he's all about. He's not a, he is a little bit about aesthetics, but a little bit more about the power. I'm trying to get the best of both worlds, you know? something like this like that. looks about right yep and the thing is since this is in the way here you got to yeah. trim this crap all the way around all around well, well, so, what we were, so can, like just yeah, from this exactly from this like that and then kind of like that like that so we should trim it first but I want to trim the whole thing might as well just keep okay. in mind guys this is my first time ever working with big brake kids I don't know about you so you is it your first yeah. time yeah so I mean we're learning as we go but uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's all brake stuff. So I mean, it should be pretty easy. So it should be bolt on. So no, nothing, no surprises. Yeah, I mean, here. and pretty much, I mean, the kit or Isai, whatever he pieced together. I mean, it looks like it came complete. So yep. it should be pretty straightforward. Replacing mm -hmm. this. Yeah, replacing the old OEM hardline and then put it against that like that. And screw this. It doesn't want to hand tighten in. I threaded it in. There we go. Right on this baby. All the way up in here, and well, this is what we need to connect. We need to connect this. To our hard line right now. First, take so off this clip and that's gonna connect right there. Yeah, that's the only thing you need to change out. Yep, and that's it. Just everything, else, it. everything up is stocked to the master cylinder, and yeah. that's it.
connecting the stainless steel braid brake line to the hard line and that's it. We'll be done. One side. Alright. Mm -hmm. The clip that came out. Got on both the hard line. Pull any braided brake line here. Boom, done. Ready? Yeah. Alright. Just keep it like that. That was soft. Yeah, because I got this loose over here. So basically all we had to do since we were replacing the brake light, Isai said if you hold the brake, which is what I was doing, if you hold the brakes not much brake fluid will come out. So that's what I was doing while Isai untightened the right there where the brake fluid, the new braided line, stainless steel line is connected to the OEM hard line. So I held the brakes, Isai undid that, put the new, uh, what is it, the braided sleeve line and he connected the banjo bolt to the caliper so now everything's hooked up we made sure no leaks or anything like that so we're good to go right there in that aspect now all we're gonna do what well, it's pretty much install everything yeah. do the other side and then make sure nothing is leaking from the front yeah and then once we take care of the front well we'll start doing the rear That's right. so before we finish the front so i mean make sure everything is no leaks because yes. we don't want to have no leaky boys right so one note you're gonna need a, a crest not a crescent this is a flare nut wrench 10 millimeter for that OEM nut and uh, make sure you put some Loctite on these bolts on the, on the adapter bracket just in case because you know it is a part that's pretty important to your safety so some blue Loctite, blue Loctite on the caliper bolts too and, and don't forget torque. to tighten yes, these the stainless steel lines make sure it doesn't rub against anything torque down your bolts to spec and that's it we should be good I hand tightened this one so as hard as I could kind of 19 and the 10 and do some counter honestly out. this wasn't a pretty difficult thing to do no i mean it's basically the same thing as if you were replacing your stock caliper yes, with a new stock caliper I mean, it's the same thing the only thing different is the way that you put the what you might call it the brakes on and i mean that's the only thing different yeah it's basically a bolt-on solution so it's I, I think it's great take advantage of it if you can so. i mean it wasn't even that expensive was it mm -hmm. Somewhat. I mean, compared right. to, compared to a complete system from oh yeah from like no, Brembo or something. This is much more like I know StopTech has a, a set for them or just for the front, and that's that's around three grand. I think Willwood does too. So how much do you think you paid for the whole setup? Thousand something. I mean, see, yeah. less than a thousand five hundred. Eh, sure. See, so less it wasn't too bad. New one. So I'll and I mean, look at that freaking sauce. Yep. The sauce. Isaiah got the fronts taken care of. We just needed to start bleeding the brakes, making sure everything doesn't uh, leak or anything like that. But before we move on to the other side, we're gonna move on to the rears. That way we can film the rear and then we can do the other side behind camera. And I mean, it's basically the same thing. So we're gonna start doing the rears. Should be pretty straightforward. Look at that, dude! Oh matching, the oh matching the Z! Matching the Z! Yeah, you did, huh? You woke up this morning, yep. I'm gonna put the big brake kit on. I'm gonna put the red brakes with my red, red shoes. shoes. Damn! Damn! Bro. That's why I always wear. They're supposed to be white, like the TC, but <laughs> these are the work shoes. <laughs> Something's not right there. <laughs> <laughs> Too much work, more shoes. Yeah. We're going on a trip. So we just finished up the passenger side. As you guys can tell, Isai tackled up the front. I tackled the rear. And I mean, we're about to start bleeding the brakes. So as you guys can tell, all this is done. 
and then on this side is done and the front dude it looks so good I know, man. from so far look at that imagine what the wheels put on yep. you'll be able to see them through the wheels except especially since it's kind of like big spokes so you'll be able to actually tell the red yeah. but i mean it's looking good so far Hope no feels good too. yeah so. no leaks so far but we'll see once we start bleeding see if anything pops up or anything like that but i don't think we're gonna show the bleeding process because i mean it's I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So we're just gonna skip through it, yes. finish it up, and then we'll go for a drive, and then we'll get your reaction. See what's because yeah. I mean, you're the one that drives this feels. car. Yeah. You see what the, what's the difference? I'm pretty sure there is a huge difference. I mean, going from little boys to big boys, yes. there's got to be a difference. So yes, let's get to bleeding. Hopefully, we don't run out of sunlight anytime soon. But if it does, oh well. we'll but do it. yeah, let's we'll get it. So we've ended at a stopping point for tonight. It's still early. It's still yeah. about like six o'clock. It just looks like it's late because the sun goes down a lot quicker. But we ran to ran into a couple issues. You wanna explain your sadness? Yes. So basically, we have no leaks. Everything feels fine. Everything bolts up right, except my front wheels. So uh, I read online that you know they give you a template that you can use and print out, and then uh, put it behind your wheels to see if the big brake will fit. And. Uh, Basically, I read online that someone tested it with that uh, template they give you, and it did clear. Because I have ES6 19.9 and a half, 19 by 9 and a half, and uh, with an offset of 12, positive 12, I think. And so they were saying that those would fit, but they don't fit. So we've already tried sort of trimming the wheel down, but it's still not yeah, clearing. It's still too much. Another issue, I mean, we could trim the brake caliper, but I mean, I wouldn't trim a brake caliper. I mean, it looks nice the way it is right now. We tried his stock wheels. His stock wheels don't clear the back part of the caliper. The aftermarket wheels don't clear the front part of the caliper. So, yeah, so we're, I don't want to shave the caliper, not yet. Until I'm dead out of options. So I think what's next is some little five millimeter spacers for now and some extended wheel studs. And if necessary, hopefully in due time, I'll be able to buy proper wheels that will fit a big brake kit but it was this much yeah i barely, mean literally it was barely like barely touching right here it. watch you'll be able to see right here it was barely scraping it but that's enough to stop yeah <laughs> that's enough to stop yeah the process but i mean the rears fit but it's because the rears have smaller big brakes than the fronts but it is what it is that's right We'll have to continue another day, see what Isai plans on doing. I think for now, you're probably going to get some extended studs and a 5 mil. Yeah, small spacer. Yeah. For now, while I save up and I buy maybe a whole new set of wheels. Either yeah. that or, or maybe some fronts, some new fronts and get them all powder coated. And do something yeah. different. So, that's not a big issue. At least the brakes are fine for now. No leaks. Yeah, I mean, the important part is that, I mean, they're not leaking. But I guess we'll have to either continue to another day or end this video here i don't know what we'll do first because i don't know when it's going to get fixed well, hopefully next week yeah Just order everything today and yeah hopefully i'll come next week and we'll get it rolling we'll see what's up maybe i can find a set a spare set of front wheels and somewhere from someone or something or maybe you can find some spacers on offer up right now that's true some hub centric uh, spacers yeah oh but you still need the studs, studs. true Unless I can find them locally. Yeah, it'll be a lot quicker, but yeah. if not, we'll have to oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. So that's the stitch, that's the hiccup, but other than that, they look freaking nice. It looks amazing, and yeah. I'm sure it's going to feel amazing too, so I still think it's worth it. I mean, it gives me a new reason to start working on getting a new set of wheels, because these Varsins were cool, but I'm looking for something a little better. Yeah. Look at that. You know, you start off with the eBay sauce, you start off with eBay wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm still on eBay wheels. Well, yeah, uh, sort of eBay wheels. Uh, uh, They're not from eBay, but they are yeah. reps. Reps, bro. But it is what it is, so. Yep. I don't know if we'll continue this video or if I'm going to end it right now. But if I'm ending it right now, that's where we're going to end today's video. So, yeah, that's as far as we got for today. You say? Peace out. Later, later. Catch you guys on the next video, guys. Peace out and embrace later. yourself.